This is defending the Immaculate. Together, we defend the honor of our Blessed Mother. Mary as not suffering the pains of childbirth. Why would this make her immaculate, free from sin, from the first moment of her conception and her entire life? In the book of Genesis, we read that the pains of childbirth are a consequence of original sin. So Almighty God looks towards Eve and tells her that she will now, that women shall now experience pains in childbirth as a result of the first sin. And so we can say that the fact that childbirth is painful, that it causes the body distress, agony, even if the pains are not felt because of an operation, it certainly is not something that is without distress to the body. And so if Mary is shown to be without these pains, naturally, without medication, without operations, if her childbirth is special, if her giving birth to Jesus Christ is special, it would signify that she was not under this curse, this consequence of original sin. Where is the evidence? Well, I'm not talking here about the tradition of the Catholic Church and the writings of the saints and mystics, because the writings of the saints and mystics, they certainly inform us that the birth of our Lord was miraculous, without pain. The writings of Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, for instance. However, in scripture, we also see this indicated in the great prophecy Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. A virgin shall conceive and bear. The virgin shall be both conceiving, and the virgin shall be bearing. And that's why, that's one of the reasons why this prophecy is so incredible, extraordinary and why it was seen as a messianic prophecy. We're talking about a virgin who remains a virgin even though she has born a son. And for her to be able to do that is going to require not only a, a conception that doesn't involve a male impregnating her, but also it's going to involve a delivery that does not violate her state of virginity an immaculate well a virgin birth we say a virginal birth as well as a virginal conception so that would mean mary in this prophecy is not to suffer the same the, the pains of childbirth and saint matthew's holy gospel has the angel repeating this or saint matthew glosses glosses the prophecy of the angel all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son. They will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. So again, the virgin who conceives and the virgin who bears. Isaiah, in another prophecy related to the Messiah, before she was in labor, she gave birth. Before her pain came upon her, she was delivered of a son. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? And then it continues. Shall a land be born in one day? Shall a nation be brought forth in one moment? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she brought forth her sons. So the second half of the verse is reminding us that Our Lady our Lady is related in all the prophecies, in so many prophecies, Our Lady is not only related to as giving birth to the Messiah, but as giving birth to a nation, a nation. And that's, that's important because the Virgin Mary 
is our mother. And that's something that I could perhaps talk about in another video. But the first part of the verse relates to a single son. And this is a messianic one, a messianic verse, because indeed we hear of who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall a land be born in one day? Again, relating to the kingdom of God, which is relationship, which is the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Catholic Church. Amazing. So our Lady's virginal birth tells us not only of her immaculate conception, not suffering the curse of original sin, the consequence of original sin, but this virginal birth of our Lord is also an indication of her motherhood of all Christians. A motherhood which is present in the book of Revelation, where we read that Our Lady is the mother of all those the devil is persecuting. We read that the devil went off to wage persecution against the rest of the woman's offspring, those who keep the commandments of God and hold the testimony of Jesus. Our Lady didn't suffer the pains of childbirth. Our Lady is the Immaculate. May the Immaculate Virgin Mary intercede for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.